So driving in reverse. Paint me a picture. Well, look, our hero, let's say, is driving down a one-way street. He thinks he's home free, but blocking his path is a villain in a car. He's got nowhere to go, so using the only avenue open to him, the hero throws the car into reverse and backs up, bobbing and weaving through traffic at high speed to eventually evade his chaser. And you want to know if this is possible? I totally do. We've been trained to drive in a lot of different ways over the years, but backwards isn't one of them, and it involves a lot of different skills, not only driving ability and spatial awareness, but also really proprioception. Yeah, yeah, let's get to driving. OK. Now we've got to drive through a slalom in reverse, and that's all about steering. That's going to be really hard. Ah! Oh, <laughs> this is why we have insurance. How did I do? One minute, seven seconds. It's very hard to gauge how hard you need to hit a turn in reverse, because all of your metrics for reaction in terms of how the car moves are way off kilter. It's a far more sensitive device in reverse. Unlike Adam, Jamie's using the mirrors and the over-the-shoulder system. But it's not a winning combination. <laughs> OK, you win. <laughs> if we're going to get really good at this, we're going to need to get trained by an expert. Luckily, we have an expert in reverse tactical driving right here. Brian Frazier is a trainer at the Emergency Vehicle Operations course here in California. So I'm going to change my seating position now. Okay. OK. I'm going to prop myself up, loosen my seat belt, turn yourself as far as you can around, get mm -hmm. your body almost in the center of the, of the car. OK. I'm going to steer the car now with one hand, but mm -hmm. this hand will never leave the steering wheel. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Well, yeah, he's moving pretty quick. Coming in good. Yeah! We're going to put a little pressure on Adam, because I'm going to be in a cop car on his ass the whole way. Here we go. Bye, cop. The chase is on. Here we go. Get the heck out of here. And by the time Jamie's got going, Adam's already out of sight. And make a right hand turn here. Don't let go of that wheel. By shifting to the central position, he's able to navigate with skill. Whoa, flaming car, dude! Oh, man, post-apocalypse! At least when he wants to. I want those boxes, come on! Yeah! But while his steering is supreme, I don't know where he is. His speed, while fast, is no match for Jamie. Oh, fruit stand! I'm not gonna miss the fruit stand. <laughs> Adam may be down, but he's not out as he reverses back up him. Ah! I'm going still! A strategy that the Heinemann then copies. With both drivers now revving in reverse, it's a case of who's going to blink first. <laughs> oh! Step out of the car with your hands up. <laughs> so how you want to call it? I have to say, I started this story thinking it was going to be handily busted. And I am now thinking that it's actually plausible. 